Good evening. And what a weird year. What a bad couple days. Um, I've known Zen for a pretty long time. <laughs> Zen is always wondering what kind of trouble is she going to get into now. <laughs> I was a character. Believe it or not. <laughs> anyway. I was having some problems online. Uh with character named Eden Mays. I can say Eden's name because he tells everybody his name and therefore makes it okay to say it. Uh. <laughs> he was giving me quite a row. And um, he... <laughs> He is the denier of womanizing. <laughs> and I just said online that he was flirting with my daughter. Called her all the time at my home. On and on and on. Well, May's had a fit. A living fit. And all <laughs> His print was this big, so then you knew he was beyond yelling. He was hysterical. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's, he's a lovely dude. And to this day, if <laughs> I make a movie, he doesn't, he's not allowed to comment on any of my stuff. It's, it's been a permanent restraining order for both of us since <laughs> 2000. Nine. <laughs> and I don't mention it. Today I'm going to mention it because Zen gave me very much um, encouragement on what to do about it. He'd say, what do you care? He's nothing. Does he own you? No. Do you owe him a lot of money? No. Then why should you let this idiot <laughs> bother you? Yes, he's an idiot. Everyone knows he's an idiot. You're the only one that seems to be affected by this. And it's affecting what you like to do. Do you like to be on um, YouTube? Yes. Then fuck him! <laughs> do what you want to do. Stay focused. Don't let people chase you off because the only person that can chase you off is you. And here I am yet today. <laughs> he, he was a very intelligent man and and uh, he just knew his shit. He'd lived it. He lived um, a very hard life, but he liked it that way. He got to experience more people of different varieties that way than if he had lived in middle class America. He was happy that he survived and got to know stories and people, had his own show, and had a cat named Boo. I used to call the cat Boo Boo Kitty. <laughs> Where's Boo Boo Kitty? <laughs> he'd, he'd show up, come in the window as Zen was trying to do a program. <laughs> He's sitting there on the... Um, windowsill, and all you'd see is a tail flip over <laughs> Zen's face. I always thought, that tail's going to hook right onto his nose someday. <laughs> but he loved that cat. He adored that cat. And he knew I liked cats, so I just, you know, 
Was I tuning in to Zen or was I tuning in to Boo Boo Kitty? <laughs> oh, everybody knows that answer. I was tuning in to Boo Boo Kitty. Good God. Zen was an interesting man. Being Italian, of course, part Italian, the old song sung by Frank Sinatra, I Did It My Way, comes to mind. Because he did do it his way. He did have control of his life. He lived the Buddhist way. And Zen was his name. I have a lot of honor for that. Gutsy guy, wasn't he? Yeah. A lot of gutsy people here. Interesting people. And Zen is just one of them that is left. I just don't see him leaving, really. I see him traveling around and checking in every now and then. I just don't see him. <laughs> it's like, hey, you. <laughs> yeah, I know. I can only smile for the guy. It's because he did what he wanted to do. And by God, that is worth laughing about and smiling about. That's all I have to say. Sweet dreams, if you sleep.